this is Marie. I am here with your um, daily Chalk Couture live video. Um, having some technical difficulties, my uh, computer decided to reboot and have to update, I guess, and it's at 4% on the update. Um, and it's been on 4% for the last five minutes. So my assumption is it's going to take all night. Um, so I am live, but unfortunately I cannot see any of the comments at the moment, but I will come back if you're there and you want to ask a question, definitely leave it. I will come back afterwards and, um, address all the questions or comments, um, later on. Sorry about that. So today, what I wanted to do was show you how Chalk Couture does their stories. Um, that's what they call them, Chalk Stories. So this is called Live Deeply Collection. And as you can see, it is more of a nautical type um, collection. And each one of these is a transfer so there's four transfers in this in this collection and they all um, go very well together as you can see they've put together um, quite a bit of of the transfers in different ways um, as a home decor and I love the pillows I don't know if you've ever seen any of our transfers done on pillows and that's done with the ink usually um, and we have plenty of Plenty, all the colors that come in the chalk paste come also in the um, in the ink as well. So whatever your home decor needs are, we definitely have it. But I just wanted to show you because we talked briefly about it yesterday. Um, where the B, let's see, there's a bunch of them. We had used the B patterns um, the other day. See how we have um, the beehive. So that's we used the beehive and we used. The sweeter than honey transfer and that's all the bees needs collection so I just wanted to show you how how they put it in the catalog so that you could find very quickly you could find things that that go together and these are called stories so today I've been really 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 dying to do um, this one for you guys because I really want to put it up on my walls as soon as possible um, I have been painting all day so I am a little bit tired, so if I get a little goofy, sorry, um, but um, I did want to show you how this is one of our larger transfers. This is a D size transfer, and it is an 18, I think it's 18 by 18, yes, 18 inches by 18 inches, and this is how they come. And I thought, I love doing things on canvas, so I'm just going to do it on a canvas. And it will fit, I've, I've checked um, the words and the top of this, will fit on here, so I'm excited. Now when you're working on canvas, something to remember is you need to put something underneath in this, in this space so that when you're, doing, uh, when you're doing the actual chalking, you have something to push against. Because if you don't, then it's concaving and this wants, your, your transfer actually wants to come off of the the canvas because it doesn't stick as well a canvas as it does to chalkboard surfaces and wood and glass and, and things that are much smoother because canvas is a little bit more of a rough uh, material so it doesn't stick as well so you have to really kind of make sure it has something to, to, to give you a little bit of, of firmness underneath in order to do this so because it doesn't stick as easily and this is the first time I'm using this um, transfer and with the big ones it's easier to turn them over and kind of take the back off there we go take the back off versus trying to take the transfer off the back this is a good sticky one it might stick well all right so we're going to turn that over I'm going to straighten it out and get it on here where I want it so I can't remember exactly what I was saying again I am tired um, but it doesn't stick as well as as you would think uh, just because again it is rough a rougher surface there there we go all right all right 
this has quite a bit of screen open, so we're going to get lots of good colors. I was wondering how to do it. What do I want to do? Do I want an ombre? Do I want a hot mess? Do I want to just do straight out color? And I really still haven't 100% decided, so it's going to just, we're going to wing it, which is kind of what I do. I think I'm going to do a solid color on this and this. But the rest of it's probably going to get a little bit of a hot mess technique going on. I've already gotten my colors ready. And I've decided to use um, Wisteria, Storm, the gray, appropriately named Tide. So it's kind of a deep, deep blue, which I love. And again, the teal, the couture teal. So I think those will go well together. They go with my decor. And again, I have been painting all day, trying to get all that stuff done. My living room is almost done. And the way my house is, you walk into an entryway and then it's living room and kitchen completely open um, to everybody to see it. So when I say I'm painting my living room, that means I'm painting my living room and my kitchen and my breakfast nook. So it's taken me a couple days, but I figure, you know what? We got a couple days with all this um, sequestered and quarantined in our house business. All right, so I'm going to start with the gray, and I'm going to use this uh, squeegee because I'm going to want to try, I think I want to make it kind of like in the middle, and I'm going to try and do this quickly because this is a large um, transfer, and... If you don't work quickly, it will start drying in there. But luckily, it's a large transfer that has a lot of, like, dots and stuff. You see all the dots in here? That means it's going to have that rustic kind of not fully um, done look when you, take, when you pull it off. So it's going to be all right if it dries just a little bit. But how's everybody's day been? Again, like I said, I've been painting, so I'm hoping other people are doing more fun things than I was. I'm already starting to enjoy it, though, because it's looking really good. I just got done with the last... For some reason, it's always that last wall in there that takes forever. I ended up having to do three coats instead of just two, like I did on the other ones. I don't know what was going on. Maybe I was just being, again, stingy with my paint. But, um, yeah. It's going really well. All right, I'm going to, I want to do, come in here. So it's gonna be kind of hot mess, but it's gonna also be um, kind of in a, a, a manageable way. I want to put the colors in specific areas. All right. All right. I think that's plenty of that. All right. <laughs> and if you can hear my family in the background, they don't realize I'm doing a live, obviously because they're in the living room making all kinds of fun noises. But that's okay. It is life, right? It's what we do. Um, they've done a really good job. They're, they've been working on their homework. I know Kenzie's trying. Thankfully, Kenzie's in high school, and they kind of give them a little bit more leeway. They kind of give them their assignments for the week, so she's been trying to get most of her assignments done early. And uh, so that's nice. And then, um, unfortunately, my youngest daughter, she's still in middle school. And in middle school, they only give them per day. And that's it. They have to they have to work on it just that day's worth of work. And they can't move forward. And so it gets to be a little, a little overwhelming for her sometimes. But she's doing really well with it. She enjoys it. She doesn't like homeschooling because we tried that with her at one point, mm -hmm. but she does seem to be enjoying this e-learning thing. 
they still get to meet on Google Google Meetup um, pretty much daily. She has a class or two that they meet up, so all the friends get to see each other, and so it's nice. They're doing their best to keep these kids involved and, and together with each other. So, all right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start hot messing this together because I feel like it's getting a little bit dry in spots. Um, and again, I'm just gonna do this quickly, and I might not even put the words in at the moment. I just want to do this about as quickly as I can. So hopefully you like the technique when we're it's all said and done. Now as far as um, today is almost the last day of March. We got one more day going tomorrow. Um, and that after tomorrow there are, are transfer paloozas that is all done so I just want to make sure if anybody's interested definitely let me know you can get your order in before the promotions done and then you'll get all the benefits of the three buying three and actually getting four of them you, get, you buy three you get one free so Kinda nice. It's been it's been a really good promotion. And I think with everybody out of work right now, or just being at home from work, um, it's been a nice distraction to have this to to come to. I know for me as a stay-at-home mom, I never I didn't have to give up my work time, um, but I do know with the kids home all the time, I have noticed. I do like to come in here and have a little bit of me time. <laughs> so, it's very helpful to have that. Okay, as you can see, we're just mixing all this in in kind of a random way. Oh, that was words, but that's okay because I plan on doing that in the dark color. So it'll be kind of nice. It'll come out of there. Um, and I'm trying to keep it still thick enough on there that it's not going to be too dry. Um, but I do feel some of this gray getting dry, so I gotta hurry up. But I probably should stop talking and just do what I gotta do. But of course I'm not gonna stop talking, because that's not me. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, I do enjoy having a little bit of the me time that I'm used to having uh, when the kids are in school. Um, so that's been an adjustment for me. So this has been a nice get away um, when the kids are in the living room and I am cannot stand what they're watching sometimes I'm like really <laughs> but I'm sure my parents felt the same way about some of the crap I watched on TV when I was their their age so <sighs> all right I think See a little couple of air bubbles, so hopefully it doesn't do too badly with the air bubbles. I'm gonna wash my hands off real quick. All right, we're gonna use this squeegee and get most of this off, all the extra. Yeah, there's quite a few air bubbles. I don't know what's going on. Let me get a paper towel. Let me get a paper towel real quick. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I was prepared, but not really. All right. There we go. Yeah, I hear quite a few of the air bubbles. That's not great. But, again... If it doesn't turn out, I'm not going to be overly disappointed because I can just repaint the canvas and start over. Alright. Yep, 
big air bubbles right there. So who knows what happens? We'll see. All right, I'm going to go ahead do this really quickly, and then I'm gonna do this really quickly, and then we're gonna pull that up. All right, guys. Let's see if any of this turned out. So it did go under some, but not terrible. It still did what I wanted it to do. All right. So I am kind of doing what's called taco. I'm folding this non-sticky side together and then putting it in the water bath. Because my water bath is just not big enough for these big um, transfers. But I got it. Got it in there. Okay. So, now on this project, I did waste a little bit of the chalk paste because once you, once you start mixing colors like that, you don't really want to, um, you don't really want to, um, put them back in any of the jars. So I see a couple of mess ups, but that's okay. I ain't worried about it. I'll figure that out later. Um, I can always go back and. And do a, a, a wash over it with another color to kind of break it up but that's the hot mess technique I think this one was kind of a hot mess and maybe we'll try it again but you get the idea so hopefully hopefully tomorrow I don't have technical difficulties and I can um, read any comments that are being made and also um, take my time a little bit more. And I hope you enjoyed the project. I will definitely be attempting this one again. And I'll hopefully be doing a better job. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your night.